Okay then, so um, to check that I can log in, at the moment I haven't assigned any macro to this login button. So we're gonna have to go back into our Visual Basic and double click on the form login and then double click on the login button. And that'll take us through to where we can type in the code um, for this button. Now, just to save a little bit of time, I've just written this out and I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. Um, again, you'll need to make sure that you've you've checked the spellings and stuff correctly in this, but um, again, we're gonna start off setting um, the username and password as a string. Um, I'm then setting this variant USR and PWD, and then setting uh, the string username to the text username in the text box and the password to the password text that has been typed in. This next section then, um, which is assigned to USR, this is just doing a lookup. So I'm looking up the text which has been put in the username box and I'm looking it up in that um, range that we um, created called users on the users sheet, if you can remember. If I type in users, it highlights that section. So it's going to be looking up the username um, in column A um, and then checking that there's a password there. So it's checking in the second column that there's, there's a password there and the same um, for this one. And that's why I uh, made a second column here. So it's going to check the pass passwords there in the database and it's going to look see if there's a username there as well. So um, if we go back to this, um, this bit of code then is if there is um, if there's not an error. It sounds a bit a little bit strange, but I put if there's an error and that's false. So if there's not an error, that must mean that um, the username and password are in. So what it's going to do is look up um, the username in the range users, and then um, once that's all okay, it's we're going to select the input sheet. Okay, so I've clicked log on, I've put my username and password, it's checking to see if the username and password are in my little database here, and if it's okay, it's then going to select the input screen and go go here. Um, I'm then going to put a message box which says the login successful and unload that form. If there is an error, then it's going to click on the else box and it's going to put up a little message which says incorrect password. So we're just going to go and test that now. So if I close down our VABA script and go to our home screen, this is where we can come to uh, test that. 